I'm Sadie Crowley, and we're going to show you a few turns of Serpent's Tongue. So I'm going to start out with some defenses. And I'm going to cast the Lesser Binding of a Fair Protection. And awful Beck. Did she get it? Correct. That's good. All right, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna cast the Lesser Binding of Etheric Protection. Al Tholbeck. Success? Success. All right. All right, so this is Mark's first time. Uh, he's never played the game before, um, and he didn't really know what to do, so his wife, Sarah, uh, he asked for advice, and she told him to, cap, uh, to cast Flame Eternate. Uh, now, he's actually gonna do this as a ritual, uh, so it won't Im impact me right now. All right, so to cast it, uh, by the way, how come I get one of these crummy codexes? How come I don't get a cool one like she's got? Why don't, why not, right? <laughs> That's because we only have uh, basically three, <laughs> and you're not a Magi yet. You don't know what you're doing. She's a Magi. All right. All right, well, let's see if I can cast it. Uh, so it would be Nas Kath Ur. Nice, perfect. And you're actually going to put it uh, kind of off to the side, which is where your rituals are going to go. So, uh, set it down right over there. Yep, perfect. Okay, so I am going to ritualize that. Um, Nas Kathur. <laughs> <laughs> nice, perfect. All right, now, because it is a physical attack, it's going to blow right through my shield. My shield doesn't actually touch it whatsoever. Um, but. It is a level two spell, but that doesn't actually affect the damage. Um, so I am going to lose a point of damage. Uh, now it is this one does require focus. Uh, so which one of you are going to use your focus to maintain that spell? Okay. This is going to be a constant. So, right, so Sadie just cast Psychic Stream on Mark. Uh, what does that do? Basically, that's hoping to disrupt his focus, oh, and if which makes it to, so the spell is uh, discarded. I but see. I'm going to interrupt that and cast a focus barrier so that I can protect my husband. Yeah. Um, and I need to use a willpower so that I can make this a fast cast. And it's Mech Ohm Beck. Perfect. So then I just put this right here. Focus well, barrier gets to stay here, but uh, it does uh, interrupt the, uh, the psychic string, so that gets discarded. Uh, which means his focus stays intact. I see. Which means you will take uh, damage next turn. I see. And then the next turn. And the next turn. <laughs> and the next turn. <laughs> Alright, uh, it's back to me. Um, now, this flame shield, this flame is going to keep eating at me unless I get some physical defenses up. Right now, all I, have is an, all I have up is an etherical shield, so it doesn't protect me at all from this damage. Um, so I'm going to cast a physical shield. And I'm going to cast the Material Binding of Malkuth. Um, uh, Vin, Kath, Foss. Success. Success. All right. Now, I am doing this as a ritual. Um, so I'm going to set this over here. Because uh, right now, it's just a level one. Mm -hmm. And what you're hitting me with is a level two. So Because it's been ritualized? Yeah, because it's been ritualized. And it'll go right through that until it becomes a level two. So it can't, a level one can't block a level two at all. So um, now it's your turn, Mark. So, if I understand, you can't protect against physical attacks? No, uh, not until I get this ritual finished. Okay. Then I will use a physical attack, the Lesser Materia Incursion. And I believe the spell is Nas Dash Rock. Correct. You guys aren't using cast timers? Not that you needed it, you had that down. No, no, we're just doing the quick start rule, so it just sort of takes things one step at a time. I see. It's a gentleman's game. It doesn't feel very gentlemanly. You two are kind of ganging up on me. <laughs> 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 so what was that? What was that? He's playing for one round and he's all of a sudden become diabolical. Uh, so that was success? Yeah, that no, was good. So what happens? All right, so uh, go ahead and take it out of your casting stand. Go ahead, bring that up here. Uh, actually, it just means I take one damage again. And now because that flame attorney was from Mark and he's done his main main action, now he does his maintenance, so this is when that flaming attorney hits again. Yeah. So basically when their uh, incantation comes into effect every round, it comes on the person who's cast it 
round, not on my turn. That's why I didn't take it off when I was casting. How much health you got left there? Or I'm sorry, essence. Sorry, right, no. uh, I'm down to three, so I'm losing. And so now it's Sarah's turn, but you used uh, you picked up an interrupt stone in order to put up that focus barrier, right? So on your turn, you put the interrupt stone back, and that pretty much takes up your turn. So uh, Sadie was kind enough to complete the ritual of the material binding of Nakuth. Uh, so I added four of these durability chips. Uh, so every time it gets hit, I will remove one of these. Those look like poker chips. They look a little bit like poker chips. Uh, <laughs> For now, anyway. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to go out on a limb and say they are poker chips, but um, <laughs> unlike in the gameplay video, if you watch that, um, we sort of have the reverse thing going on here. Uh, yeah, now you, for durability, you just you stack it up right in the beginning. Right in the beginning. And you lose one. And then, like, next turn, or on March turn, when this hits, I'll remove one of these. I see. And then when, I'm, when it's gone, I remove the incantation. Nice. Uh, so now I'm going to try to get a little bit more essence here. Um, so you now have physical defenses and etheric defenses. You're all yep. defended up. Yeah, I'm pretty defended up. I'm feeling pretty strong. But you've here. only got like two essence. But yeah, I only have two essence. Uh, so I'm going to cast uh, Blood Spiritus, mm -hmm. uh, and which is Al Colbeck. Do you get it? Nice. All right. Now Blood Spiritus uh, is a little bit interesting, uh, and what I do is I uh, basically pay a willpower, mm -hmm. and then I basically get to add two. Uh, duration chips to it. So uh, what will that do? It'll heal you each turn? Exactly. And you heal one right now? Yep. So I heal, I get one of uh, essence back right this turn and then on the subsequent two turns I'll get uh, uh, two more essence. Can you do that with it? Is that just special to the card? Yeah it is. It's actual, uh, it, kind of, it actually shows it right down here and it mentions so right down oh, here okay. in the subtext it, it tells you by paying one willpower add two duration. Nice. It's like a special thing to the card. Good. And now it's Mark's turn. Yeah, yeah for the top. Okay. You know, really, so it, it kind of depends on the He's got it's an etheric shield uh, or etheric uh, protection. He's also got physical shield. So I don't really have anything that damaged him. Um, any ideas? Uh, I would do the lesser death touch and then just do it as a ritual and I'll complete it. Oh, okay. So I'm going to cast the Lesser Death Touch, and mm -hmm. the spell for that is uh, Al Rak Fos. Nice, good job. And that goes over there. Oh, because it's, it's a ritual. And that now that you finish your main cast, that's your Flame Eternity. So now you make that hit yeah. him. So yeah, you have to actually have to remind me that it hits. Oh, it's your responsibility, or else I I don't know what's going on. You know yeah. so. Um, so I removed one of the duration chips because this because this blocked it, right? Yep. Because that blocked it. Cool. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna complete this uh, with my own alcohol. Oh. <laughs> 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 miscast. Miscast. That's a miscast. But that's all right. Okay, so I'm gonna complete this ritual uh, with. The lesser death touch. I'll rock boss. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Really good. Very good pronunciation. So what happens? All right. So basically, with lesser death, death touch, uh, I take a hit of damage, or I take it back to that sense. Because it went right over your level one shield, yep, right? Yeah, because it went right over the shield. Um, now, which means it also does a durability effect to that shield, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it does. So Sorry. even if it goes over it, it's basically not going over it, it's actually going through it. Right. So it takes a durability hit. Uh, so now I'm death touched for what, the next two turns. What does death touch do? Uh, it makes it so uh, I can't regenerate while I'm death touched. Does the regeneration still count down? It does still count oh, down, man. but it, I don't get the effect from it. So this, the blood spiritist that I cast, it will continue to count down, but it won't actually affect me. Oh. So, Again, they did, it was great strategy because they didn't have anything that could like hurt me, so they just stopped me from getting healed, basically. Nice. This is not my first rodeo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Clever. All right, that was a few turns of Serpent's Tongue. I'm going to get back to this and see if I can help Brian dig himself out of this hole. Um, please stay tuned for more videos over the next few weeks.